The first order of the day is commencement of debate on the general principles of a bill for an act to enact the Nigerian local content to provide for the development, regulation, and enforcement of Nigerian content in all sectors of the Nigerian economy except the oil and gas sector and for related matters. Standing in the name of. Ah, this is standing in the name of Honorable Idagwa and six other honorable members. Honorable members will recall that the bill was read the first time on Tuesday, 12 May 2020, and now I invite Honorable Idagwa to move that the bill be read a second time. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, my name is Honorable Lego Idagbo. I represent the good people of Bekwara, Obudu, and Oban Liko Federal constituency in Cross River State. Mr. Speaker, I rise to move that this bill be read for a second time. I so move. Uh, second. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my name is uh, Honorable Haruna Michelia. I represent all the good people of Astra Overhaul Federal Constituency of Borno State. I rise to second uh, the, uh, the second reading of this bill as presented by Honorable Lego. I saw second. Honorable Michelia, that's why I was pointing to you as a second. I almost couldn't recognize you. You're wearing a suit, you don't have your cap, you're wearing a mask. Couldn't recognize you. Uh, honorable, that way you can lead the, 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 let's just put the question. It's one o'clock. Basically, the bill is to allow the, just one minute, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. This bill is a, a very straightforward one. We've recorded a lot of gains in the oil and gas sector with Nigerian content in bracket local content. Today, we have Nigerian companies bidding for bid rounds in other countries in the oil and gas sector. Levine Energy, for one, just recently won the bid rounds in Bene Republic. Oil said constructed the longest pipeline in Nigeria today. And recently, they won the AKK pipeline contract, which is a Jokuta Kaduna Kanu pipeline contract. So a lot has been recorded, a lot of success has been recorded in the oil and gas sector. But this success needs to be moved to every other sector of the economy. In this pandemic uh, era, we're all aware that COVID-19 brought Nigeria to its knees. We could not even think of how to fund our budget because the revenue from the oil and gas sector was almost comatose. Today, we have an opportunity as a house to develop other sectors of the economy and to ensure that other sectors are revenue generating, that other sectors build capacity in terms of individuals and job creations. Today, Nigeria is one of the countries that the, under, the unemployment rate is so high. We need a bill that can guarantee employment for our teaming population. We also need a bill that can build capacity of our local companies. This is what this bill seeks to achieve to build capacity of our local companies and to also ensure job creation for our teaming population. Mr. Speaker, there are a lot of uh, sections in this bill, one of which is that before anybody seeks for a license to do anything in the Nigerian economy, the person needs to submit to the sector where you seek for that license a Nigerian content plan. That Nigerian content plan will specify how many people you need to employ, will specify what your company needs to do. And in that plan, you would seek to employ Nigerians and build capacity. 
that is what this bill seeks to achieve. Again, before now, Mr. Speaker, people apply for expatriate quota. Yes, when you set up a business entity, you need, in case there is no Nigerian that has the capacity to do that job, you will apply for a quota that will be approved so that an expatriate can be made to do that job. But for now, what this bill seeks to achieve is to say that if you need an expatriate to do the job that a Nigeria ordinarily ought to do, you need to show, advertise in three national dailies, that and be sure that there is no Nigeria that has the capacity to do that job. Even after that application and you are, you are given the approval to get an expatriate, Mr. Speaker, you must show that as you get that expatriate, there is a provision for transfer of technology, where you will build the capacity of a Nigerian over time to fill into the shoes of the approval you've given. Mr. Speaker, even in JVC contracts, Mr. Speaker, uh, I want it's to okay, mention, it's okay. And I get the point. I, I've been doing this to you this morning. You didn't, you didn't get you, it. Mr. Your point is, you have yes. made your point. I just wanted to mention two companies. Please, go ahead. Two companies, for instance, the Mindbilla Power Plant is one of the biggest contracts that have been awarded in Nigeria. If a, if, if a Nigerian content plan had been submitted for Mambila, would have been sure of enough jobs, opportunities, and transfer of technology. But today, that is not happening. Dangote Refinery, today, as I speak to you, Mr. Speaker, is spending 15 billion US dollars and there is no Nigerian content plan. Dangote is a businessman. If he has cheap labor, cheaper labor in any other climb, he will do that. He will get that labor. And that is what they've been doing. So this law seeks to make sure that they must patronize Nigeria in terms of labor and develop Nigerian capacity in terms of our companies. There is a 2% deduction for every contract awarded ah, in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable <laughs> you are really into this bill. Anyway, uh, Leader, you want a second? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable colleagues. No, no, no. You were leading, you no, know, that was, you were leading, the, I think there is already been seconded. Let's just put the question. That was a lead debate. Yeah. So those in favor of the, that the bill be now read a second time, please say aye. aye. Those against, please say nay. Ayes have it. Clark, please uh, read the long title. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, a bill for now to announce Nigerian Local Content Act to provide for the development, regulation, and enforcement of Nigerian content in all sectors of the Nigerian economy except the oil and gas sector and for later matters. Second reading. Bill referred to Committee on Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring. Today is commencement of the debate on the general principles of a bill for an act to amend the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act, CAP 2, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, and for related matters, standing in the name of Honorable Ochiglego Idagwo. Honorable members will recall that the bill was read the first time on Tuesday, 12 May 2020. And I invite Honorable Idagwo to move that the bill be read a second time. Mr. Speaker, Honorable colleagues. This is a bill uh, to amend the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act 2010 with a view to consolidate on the gains made in the Nigerian oil and gas industry since 2010 when the act was signed into law. I move that this bill be read for a second time. Okay. Honorable Osai, oh, you've been quiet all day. Do you want to second this, please? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable colleagues. I remain honorable Osai Nicholas Osai. I represent local county federal constituency of the state. I rise to second the motion as moved 
My honourable colleagues, I shall second. Those in support of the bill that will be read the second time, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Aye, shall be. Clark, this is really a long title. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, a bill for now to amend the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act, Chapter 2, Laws for the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, and for later matters. Second reading. Bill referred to the Committee on Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring. 